What's up, YouTube? We're back today, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a three-way switch uh, on a, on a three-way switch circuit. So I'll, I'll show you how to replace one. It's in a hallway here uh, for a light. You know, the switch on one side of the hallway and a three-way on the other side. So a lot of people get confused on the fact of how to wire these things up. If you don't wire them right, then either one or the other will work. Uh, and you have to go back and turn the other one off. And I'll explain to you why... Uh, that is because some people will wire it up, but not realizing that some of these switches are kind of made different But usually they're always gonna have the common on one side and then the two Outside so in other words the way, the way to explain this would be your lead wire that feeds into it is always gonna go into the common and then you're gonna have your One wire is gonna go into this and usually you'll have a black and a red line uh, So your black is gonna be your primary and your, your secondary traveler wire that goes over to the other switch, well, they both go over to the switch, but your red's always your traveler wire, and I'll show you exactly why how this is set up. So, forgive my fancy artwork. So let's just say we have our black hotline coming in, okay? It's gonna come into the switch. Now, I'm gonna draw you a symbol on an electrical schematic of how, what a switch looks like. So, this is a three-way switch. So, right now, on the primary side, it's closed. So open, closed means, closed means electricity can get through it. Open means that it can't. So right now, the secondary side of the switch is open, where the primary side is closed. So if I were to show you this, I can kind of better explain this to you. Picture, I have my meter here set on, um, it's just on a uh, diode setting so I can hear continuity going through it. So. I'm going to put my black wire into the common screw for the switch. So on your house, wherever you're at, you're going to see a black wire feeding. Your primary hot wire comes in. It's going to go to the common. Now, <clears throat> I'm on the, pr the, sec the primary side. So now if I switch this switch around, it's closed. So when I do that, <clears throat> now it's not very tight because the screws are loose here. I'll just give you an idea. So, in other words, this primary side is closed. Now it's open. Now, if if it's the opposite, this side is going to be closed now. So when you turn the switch on, either one side or the other is open or closed. And I'll explain that to you on a switch here, on the diagram. Okay, so like I said, your hot wire is coming into the switch, and it's always going to go on to the common. Okay. Your, sec your primary wire is usually going to be a black, okay? Your one black wire in there. And then your other wire is going to be your red. Okay, and your red is going to be the traveler over to the other switch. So let's just draw this out like this so you can get, get, get an idea. This is my switch. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to have the other switch over here, okay? Now I'm going to have my common on this side. I'm gonna have my primary on this side and then my secondary on this one. So my red wire <clears throat> that you're gonna see inside when you're wiring it up is usually gonna go to the traveler side, okay? Where the black wire will go to primary screw to primary screw. <clears throat> now if I explain this to you, we're gonna have our other black wire coming out here and we're gonna have it go to the light. Okay, now let me explain this to you the way this works. You want the you want the circuit to be continuously closed. So let's just say I have this switch in the closed position on the primary side. Okay, and then my now the wire is coming through. Electricity is coming through here, going through the switch, coming through this, going to the other side of the other switch. Now electricity will flow through here and turn the light on. Let's just say I opened up the other switch to this one. Now, this one's closed. So now if you look at this, electricity is going to come through the, the first switch. But this is open. So technically, I can't do anything until I open the other switch up. <coughs> which would then make electricity flow through the red wire going over to the switch. Back to this in a big circle, turn the light on. Now, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll show you how to wire it up. This is kind of basically a little diagram to understand it better. Stand by.
Okay, here I am with the switch. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you, always turn off electricity when you're working on this. I don't want to be responsible for you getting shocked and getting hurt. So, if you're not a qualified professional, don't do this. But I'm just showing you basically how to, you know, the steps. Um, I have the power on. Okay. Whoops. But I am going to tell you to turn it off. I am pretty confident in uh, working with electricity, so I understand it better than most people do. So, okay, first things first, if you ever check this out, Milwaukee makes a screwdriver. It's pretty dope. A lot of people have never seen this, but if you look at the head on a screw for like a, a light switch, or any kind of like, you know, it's a Torx, okay, so it's a flat, you can use a flat head, a Phillips, a square head drive, or they make this cool one, check this out. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Yeah. It, it's just for this thing. I saw it online. I'm like, man, what the heck is this? Anyway, Milwaukee makes it. Check it out. This is my Milwaukee 11 in one. So, yeah, it fits right in there. Boom. Okay, so let me check this out. You guys see that okay? Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so I got my wires here. Remember, this is active, really hot right now. So, now I'm gonna explain to you how this kind of works. Remember how I was telling you how there's always three screws on a three-way switch? In this case, my red wire is on my common. So if I go over to my other side, the red wire would be on the common. It doesn't matter if it's red, but traditionally when you wire it up, your black lead wire is usually on, um, <clears throat> The, uh, the the common side. So anyways, let's put this on. So knowing how this is wired up, let's do this here. Get my, uh, Get some light back on. It's dark in here. Okay. Or we can just do this. Okay, we'll just do this. There you go. Okay, so now it should go off right now. Ready? Up. Oh. There it goes, it's dead. So now what we're gonna do is look at this. This is gonna, we're gonna say, get yourself a, a glow stick here. Pretty much lights up so you know which line's hot. That's not hot. That's not hot. The one I just disconnected is hot. So that will be our, our lead wire coming in right now. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is, if I go to the other switch and turn it off, then now this side is going to become the hot one. Okay, so. Now just so you people know, with electricity, if you're... You can touch the wires. Look, I'm touching it. I'm not getting shocked. What I don't want to do is touch something metal that's ground. That's how I get zapped. Some people don't understand that. You can actually touch a live wire and it won't shock you. It's when your body touches ground somewhere else. That's when you get tickled. Mm. So, mm -hmm. so with these ones here, I'm not going to loop them around the screw because I have the plates that sit inside and the screw will go inside there. <clears throat> so I can actually trim back a little bit here because I think I cut too much. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. 
Let's look at where I was at here. So if I remember this, my red wire was on the single. My black wire was on this first one here, the hot one. This, so this would be my primary, my secondary, and I believe on these ones, this would be my common, my, my traveler. Yeah, see, this is which is kind of different. See how they have it separate differently? So what we're gonna do is, on this new one, <clears throat> we knew that this was my common here. So let's put this black wire on that. Like I said, if you look on the thing here, it'll say bottom, or it'll say top on the switch, so you know where the top's at. And the top is this way. Okay, so that's my top. Okay, so now <clears throat> my traveler wire, which was this one. Huh? <laughs> there I go. I have light. See that? The cool thing with the screwdriver is it fits right inside that hole. So it's almost like it's a flathead mixed with a square notch. It's pretty cool. You don't have to worry about stripping the screws out. Pretty dope. Okay, now this guy, trim this guy down a little bit. Okay. Now. Okay, now let's check this out. Let's make sure it works. So now, I'll put together, but here, off, on, off, on. And that's how you wire it up. You wanna make sure. Now let's put it this way. If I, if I loop these two wires around the opposite way, then what would happen was you'd have to come let's say i turned it off right here then i go to the other switch it won't turn on i have to come back and turn this back off then i go over there and turn it back off it'll turn off but in this <clears throat> in other words this is not if, if this was wired the opposite way which most people make that confusion because they don't understand the new switch so and that's the one thing with this switch this switch the common is this one here Okay, and this is my, so common, primary, and secondary traveler is the back one. So this switch was different. So if I went and bought this kind of switch and put it in, if it was this kind, then people would get confused and not realize that. That's why it's always good to know which one's the common and which one the primary one is and which one the secondary traveler is. So I hope you guys like my video. Um, real simple. I mean, it's not too hard, but... It just kind of gives you a little understanding about three-way switches. So, you know, like I said, don't do this when electricity is on. Yeah, you know, I don't want to uh, be responsible for you getting shocked and say, "He didn't warn me." I told you to turn it off, dude. So, do it or do that, whatever you are. So, hopefully, this video helps you guys out. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you guys want me to put anything else out, I can put it on. I just have to find the time to do that kind of repair so i do lots of different stuff so i'll put this back together and then we should be rocking and rolling and uh yeah have a good day peace out